The Manage screen provides searchable storage for laser designs and jobs and the ability to import designs and ideas from other design software. There are four screens in Ruby, and the Manage screen is identified by the four squares icon in the top center of the screen. Within the Design screen, starting at the top, there is a question mark. Selecting this will show all keyboard shortcuts. This list will change based on what screen you are in. The small bell icon at the top of the screen will show all notifications or processes completed in Ruby. For example, this list is where the finished processing time of a completed file will be located. The machine icon is the connected laser to Ruby, showing the laser system serial number, selected lens, and type of laser being operated. The machine's registered name can be selected to change the password or logout of Ruby. The three bars on the top left of the screen next to the Trotec logo is the main menu. The main designs tab at the top shows the designs that are currently loaded in the Manage screen. Selecting the Import button will allow compatible graphics and designs to be imported into the Manage screen. Compatible graphics can also be dragged into the Ruby Manage screen directly from a folder or another computer screen, one at a time or by selecting as many files as desired. Additionally, a zipped folder of compatible designs can also be dragged into the Ruby software and will automatically extract the files from the zipped folder and deposit each file into the design screen. Single files can be deleted by selecting the small trash can icon next to the file or by selecting the checkbox next to multiple files and selecting the small trash can at the top right side of the list. Files can also be exported out of Ruby only to be used on other laser machines running Ruby. The design file list is searchable using the search bar at the top of the page. The plus button will take you to the design screen to create a graphic from scratch. The next tab at the top is Jobs. Jobs are files that have already been run through Ruby, have been positioned, and have the material parameter already selected, meaning these files are ready to be laser processed. If nothing needs to be changed in a job, such as location or the material type, that job can be dragged directly from this list to the operational laser machine shown on the right side of the Manage screen. When this is done, the job will skip all other screens and be sent directly to the Produce screen, bypassing all other steps. This is very useful for repeated production jobs. The Jobs list is also searchable. Jobs can be deleted or exported like the design list. The next tab at the top is Profiles. Profiles are the next step towards automation in Ruby. Assign profiles with desired material and layout properties to automatically push files into your laser's queue. You can create profiles for reoccurring jobs by setting up the desired material parameters, position, scaling, rotation, and use of rotary if needed. Each detail for the laser job is predefined and saved as a profile. When files are imported or dragged into a profile, designs are automatically forwarded to the production queue Here's an example of how profiles can drastically improve productivity once set up. Place the material or product into the laser, a powder-coated tumbler in this example. If the profile is set up correctly and the design files are created with the correct size and orientation, these designs can be dragged directly into the desired profile. The profile will automate all the steps in Ruby allowing any file to be moved into the profile and instantly be ready for laser processing. Profiles are beneficial when each design has been customized in other softwares or created on a website by customers. Additional profiles can be set up by selecting the plus button. The last tab in the Manage screen is the Fonts tab. This tab allows the installation of custom fonts into Ruby when a non-compatible font is found. To add additional fonts, use the Import button or drag and drop. This will add any custom fonts into Ruby and enable full text editing when editing and designing in the Ruby software.